guys and welcome to another weekend vlog. I've not actually done a weekend vlog in a while because I've been doing so much Pokemon Go but I thought it was definitely time to do one again. I'm hanging out here with little Evie Beebe who's not long been back with us since Gamescom. She's a little sleepy head though. She's not coming with us where we're going today. Just Ali and I are gonna go do something really cool today that I actually mentioned in my New Year's vlog, what, like eight months ago? Eight months ago I said I really, really wanted to learn to snowboard and then Ali got me the best birthday present ever because we're gonna go ahead today to go and learn how to snowboard out on the slopes near to us. I'm so excited and actually really nervous. So this is the car that my baby got me on my birthday this year. Actually, I have to show this because it's so cool. It's both of us show, show to shop? <laughs> Photoshopped in like we're on the ski slopes or the snowboard slopes. Actually, it really looks like we're there as well. So he's done a good job. <laughs> Wish I could say I did it. I told the guy what I wanted, but I didn't actually do it. It's still a really good idea. Thanks. So both of us today are gonna go and give snowboarding a go. Can I just say I've never been skiing or anything? No, like I've skied. I've been skiing twice. I'm not great at it though. I don't have really good balance. I think we might see. In my mind, you were this amazing skier. <laughs> and I was just like trying to snowboard for the first Definitely time. Definitely not. The thing that I sucked at was skiing. Is one leg was always a bit stronger than the other, so I would constantly cross my skis on one side because one leg just wouldn't behave. So in my head, I won't have that issue snowboarding. Ooh, Hopefully this not. This could be Hopefully your thing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna head off and learn how to snowboard. I'm so excited. If you're looking forward to this as well, please give the video a big thumbs up. Next time we see us, we will be on the slopes. Hey. This glorious beast, of course, is not coming with us, but he would look totally at home on the slopes because he looks like a little snow leopard anyway. Don't you, Oliver? Oh, don't do that mean face. So I lied, you're actually seeing me again now just before we go on the slopes because I put an Eevee in a little crate which we put her and Mara away. I'm gonna give her a treat while she's in there. And I just had to show you this because it's so gross. So look in the bag. I have to touch those in a minute. But that is a chicken foot. That is literally a chicken's foot. Oh, I'll touch it. <laughs> that is a chicken's foot. It's a little feety from a chicken. Go in your bed. Good girl, go in your bed. All the way in, good girl. There you go. That is a chicken's foot. You are kind of gross for licking that. But enjoy. No, you have to, no, Evie, you have to eat it in your, tr in your crate. That's the point. So this is what we're going to be snowboarding on. This rolls round. So you kind of, you don't ski down it or snowboard down it. You try and stay still. And it's got a mirror so you can watch yourself falling. <laughs> We've got our little ski booties on. Yours are huge, like, those look huge. Mine are quite fun, can <laughs> Look, these guys are doing things that we won't be able to do. <laughs> so our instructor has basically just told us that we're kind of mad for wanting to learn to snowboard here before we've snowboarded on proper snow and because it moves, so I think we're going to fall over a lot. I think we're going to have very sore butts by the end of this. Look how cool we look. I actually love snow boots. I think they're so cool. You like them? I was always so jealous when I went skiing and people were wearing these. What's the difference these. between them? I think this is my little board. That's Ali's big board. They're ski boots which are totally different and they're really hard to walk in. But you can actually like walk around and like you can jump and step in these. Yeah. I need to try and get into this. Months, so we're gonna have a look and see how he's doing. So one thing I'm 
actually really scared of is I've broken my coccyx bone before. I broke it like, I don't know, about five years ago. I fractured it. And you fall on your butt all the time doing snowboarding. So I'm so scared about hurting it. No, we didn't fall yet. We didn't fall yet. We were doing little jumps and we were doing like little switches and none of us fell, but it's gonna happen. Like, it's gonna happen. We're gonna fall. Hopefully not. We may well, not. We totally go fall. <laughs> so hot last time that the helmet's off and the cardigan's off. It's so hot. Round two. If you think about it too much, it doesn't work. You yeah. just gotta let your feet be the ones that, like, it's like a segue, yeah. to be honest. Would you want to come back and do it again? Yeah, I, want, I, I actually think, like, looking at skiing, it looks cool. I think I'd have to give it a go, but I'd want to say I'd much rather get good at snowboarding. So we could go snowboarding on holiday, yeah, maybe, definitely. maybe. Definitely. If in three months we look like that dude, then I think we should. Especially if this is harder than uh, normal skiing. Yeah, so. like ski season's coming up, guys. I'm really glad you want to do it again, though. Hey, yeah. It's so much fun. I honestly think I'm a bit in love with the big snow boots, you know. I could wear these every day. So guys, we have bought some more lessons. Yes, I really want to learn to snowboard. They also gave us some progress books. I'm just going to show you what progress we made. This is Claire's little book. Here's my details, my shoe size, and my board size. And then look. We completed some, all of level one, some of level two, some of level four. He also said we complete some level six, but he forgot to fill it in. And then we also complete some of level ten. Okay, little one. You have to come out there now, Baba. I'm sorry. So our plan today was to take this little one for a walk. When we got back, Darcy's, he's not in a good shape really. He's kind of limping on one of his feet quite a lot. And we checked and there's like blood on it. And we think he's, I don't know, maybe gotten out of a window or we don't really know what he's done, but he's, he's in a lot of pain and we want to make sure he's okay. So we found the vet and we did manage to get an emergency vet's appointment. He's in a little case just behind us. Uh, and we're gonna go take him and find out what's wrong with him because Darcy like never ever hisses or like yells at us. He, he does do it to Evie because she jumps on him all the time. Um, but he never does it to us and today he didn't even really want to be picked up. Like he let us pick her, pick her up, him up and check his paw but he wasn't happy about it so he's not really himself. Um, so we just want to make sure he's okay. So we're on our way to the way to the vets now. We're sure it's totally fine. But we just want to make sure our little baby's okay. Just dropped baby off to the vets. We had to leave him there because um, the coat was actually really deep. Yeah, it was, she like didn't she like shaved away the fur yeah. and it was like really nasty. It was like she opened it up. You yeah. said like I was holding him at the front, you were holding him at the back, and it was a deep cut and it's infected. Mm -hmm. um, and it was deeper than she was expecting, so she wants to keep him there. And they're actually going to put him under anaesthetic and properly clean it out and then stitch him up. So never, that's, where, that's where he is right now, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, and it's never what you want to hear. You never want him to have to go under anaesthetic, but at least he's getting it all cleared up. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be totally fine, but we've just gone to get some lunch because we, we can't go back for like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, in terms yeah. of like cats, 
the fact that he was being like handled by someone he'd never met, being pin not pinned down, but being held in place so that we could He's shave away on the little cut. I don't open. like if that was me, I'd have been screaming. Like it was such a deep cut, and she was like putting like a, obviously a wet cloth through it yeah. to make sure it was clean. He was he was so good. But we were stroking his face and like holding him, and he was like yowling, but he wasn't hurting us at all. Like. <laughs> He is the biggest softie in the whole world. Thanks. And I'm sure he'll be totally fine. He'll be absolutely he fine, but we are just where he was. We like, we love our babies all so much. So we just get so upset. Don't like seeing him in his mouth. He'll be fine though, he'll be totally fine. Yeah. So we've just been to collect Davy. He's home now. He's got a little cone on him. Where's your zip, Bubba? Is it this side? He's got a little cone on him that he has to keep on for 10 days. Evie, you're gonna have to give him some space, Bubba. Out the way, beautiful. Okay, hey, baby. There you go, Darcy. Hey, beautiful one. Cone of shame cut. Evie, 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 come away from him. Oh, Darcy, you look ridiculous. But at least you're all better. Yes, you Evie. are. Evie, come on, Bubba. Let him have a little space. Yeah, you're definitely not allowed outside, Darcy. Hey, Bubba. You don't like your cone, do you? Oh, look at his little foot. Oh, he's got a little bandage on. Evie. Oh, Baba, he's limping still. Baby, come on. Let's get you on the sofa so you're away from that one. Oh, ho, ho. poor little bum bum. Poor little bum bum. You sure all home now. So our baby is back home with us. Bit of a traumatic way to end the video, but he's absolutely fine. He's got to wear his little cone for 10 days. He's got a post-op check in two days time. And then next weekend, he may actually be coming up to Harrogate with us if his foot is all better. He can come and see my family and he absolutely loves my mum's cat, Sam. Sam's not so sure but he will definitely be feeling better and it's also gonna be the first time that all my like big extended family has met Evie. So I absolutely can't wait for next weekend. And I'm so glad that little baby's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one, bye.